Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KipAdger.com, here to bring you another gear review, and today we're talking about this guy, which is the Reaction Rod by Geisley Automatics. Back in, I believe it was 2013, I ended up getting my FFL 07, Federal Firearms License with the 07, meaning I could actually manufacture weapons. One of the things I did was essentially build a symbol ARs, ship them out to people all over, kind of custom in the sense that people didn't have the tools or know-how and they wanted certain things, whether it be hand guards, whatever it was, barrel profiles, I'd put it together to them, ship it out to them. One of the things I ran into though was this is essentially a block where you attach your upper receiver to it. These pins right here, these aluminum pins, and this aluminum block, takes the place of your takedown pins or pivot pins on your lower receiver. So you end up locking your upper receiver into this with this itself being locked into a vise. Problem being is once you start working on things like the barrel, attaching flash hide or muzzle brake, anything like that, all the torque is getting transferred into the aluminum upper receiver that's mounted on this block. Well, the Geisley Reaction Rod does a great job of alleviating that issue. So Reaction Rod is pretty much one big ass piece of metal. Weighs like two and a half, three pounds. On this end, you can see there's these flats made for clamping into your vise, whether it be horizontal or vertical. And then over on this end, we can see it's all machined out and this fits perfectly into your barrel, basically locking into the star chamber. With the reaction rod locked in here, I can then take my upper receiver, barrel's already on this one, and slide it in. And once it's there, it's locked into the barrel. Can't twist it. All that metal is locked tightly into the star chamber. Otherwise, I would be stuck using something like this. So again, this would be clamped in the vise, and these pins would go through there. Again, anything we wanna do with this, especially changing out our muzzle brake, puts a tremendous amount of torque on this aluminum, as opposed to just putting it directly onto the barrel and then consequently onto this, which is much better. So to demonstrate, we'll go ahead and change out the muzzle device on this upper. First thing we gotta do is go ahead and remove the Surefire Pro Comp to do so have this universal wrench, and I'm gonna go ahead and use a torque wrench. If you are gonna use a torque wrench, just crank it up to like a million pounds so that it will bust this thing loose and it will also smash your crush washer when you put that on. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy on here and break this guy loose. Next, we wanna get rid of the old crush washer. You only ever use them once. Get our new crush washer. We wanna make sure that the bevel is faced towards our barrel. Slide that guy on there. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our Battle Comp 1.0. Get this guy started on here. Get this guy snug down and then we'll go ahead and grab our big ass wrench and crank on it. Now, with this barrel locked into this reaction rod, I'm gonna go ahead and crank this guy down, and smash this crush washer till it's where it needs to be. And lastly, we just wanna make sure we get it timed. This muzzle device, unlike some, actually needs to be timed. It actually has a bottom and a top, but Again, what this allows is me to put a bunch of torque on this and have it held rigid by the barrel as opposed to putting tons and tons of stress through all these different aluminum parts up here. Really does a great job. Additionally, anything else I need to work on up here, whether it be putting on your gas block, hand guards, putting your backup sights on there. One note of caution is this is slid on this way and when you put, whether it be optics, back of iron sights, anything like that, we wanna make sure we slide them as far close to the muzzle as we can. One thing you will run into is you'll be trying to push this forward because in the recoil, it's gonna move forward. So from the word go, we wanna make sure it's all the way forward. So you'll start pushing and you'll find it slide out on you. Not a big deal. Essentially just create tension and push 
whatever direct or push pull get your uh, sights whatever it may be pushed up forward against your notches in your rail either way it does a really good job makes working on things a lot easier than taking it in and out of that aluminum lock wherever it went i've been put together a lot of rifles this thing is great not only does it work really well and remove all the stress from your upper receiver but it's also a lot quicker than taking those pins in and out, putting those cotter pins back in. Those things are a pain, antiquated. Great tool. Having said that, kind of expensive. About 99 bucks pretty much anywhere you find them. Brownells, Midway, Amazon. I will say with Amazon, you usually get free shipping, which is nice because this is like three pounds of steel. If you are going to get into building some rifles, some ARs, I would definitely suggest this if you're going to do more than just one because it's an investment but here's the thing with building rifles they're pretty much legos for adults tons of fun super modular really easy to work on so if you are going to get into it and just do that one high likelihood of you doing a lot more after that one in which case this is pretty much money well spent as always thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com look forward to seeing you next time Cut this.